Hey guys, I got a barge back on the water again. Got the tractor loaded up, the push boat on there. Got to go ahead and get this pushed over and get this thing back in the action. push over to our next project. We had a little extra fill on the barge, so we took it by Alan's project that he's working on, a little over 200 foot seawall on the boathouse. Went ahead and put that uh, extra dirt we had off the barge behind the seawall. installed behind his new seawall he had a lot of debris left over from the project that he removed before installing the new seawall so we're getting all that loaded up on my barge because I'm actually headed over to the boat ramp to tear out a dock so we'll be able to unload all the trash and debris from this project onto a trailer at the boat ramp and haul it to the uh, reclaim center Using straps on our reclaimed wood and trash helps us to haul it more neatly on our barge and also able to stack it better when we unload it from our barge to our trailers to haul. We got all the material loaded up on the barge that Alan removed from this project over here. Now we're headed over to the boat ramp to get it unloaded. to Woodlawn Beach Boat Ramp, Gulf Reefs, Florida. We're going to be tearing out a 217-foot uh, existing dock that's there. Go ahead and put back a new one. So I'll go ahead and be getting pictures as we go, put it together, and let y'all see the progress of this, how it takes place. Thanks. If y'all would, hit the uh, like, subscribe button. That'll keep these videos coming. Let me know that you're interested in what we're doing. Thank you, guys. We made it over to the dock project. We're actually removing the old rot pilings now. Most of the poles just fell off as soon as we took the framing down. They were uh, eaten up by Chorito boreworms. So we got Kevin down in the water now. He's actually trying to locate one of the broken pilings. Ashton's sitting there holding the uh, jet pipe, uh, trying to jet some water around and loosen up. And we're going to try to get a chain hooked around it and get that pole pulled back out of the ground. All right.
We're about 225 foot out in the water here. We're setting us up a batter board so we can run some strings back to the shoreline to set our pilings with. This will give us a nice straight line. Put a screw eight inches below that mark. Hey guys, thanks for checking this video out. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one here posted now and I'll get the completed and progress pictures posted as we go along here. Really appreciate you uh, watching the video, leaving the comments that you've got, and if y'all would, hit the subscribe button and notification bell, thanks.